good morning. As you can tell, we've had a bit of a thaw and it's no longer an ice storm and it's not too windy today. It's me attack my goats. <laughs> Hi. It's not too windy. I don't even need a coat. We are going to go ahead and get their hoofs trimmed. After winter and they came out of the barns it was just like all of a sudden I feel like their hoofs grew like crazy so we're gonna get those trimmed up we are going to get some barn refreshing done they pushed over their kidding stalls because they're goats and they do stuff like that when they're bored and stuck in the barn so I'm gonna clean up the barn put down some new straw and we are going to get their hoofs trimmed and cleaned up and check everybody make sure everybody looks looking healthy and happy um, yep that's like the whole big plan it's Sunday afternoon we went to church we had some chill time and the neighbor brought over some straw so we get to put some down in the barns for them. Cindy is being very affectionate, aren't you, lady? Aren't you, lady? Yeah, she's always like She's She's a friendly goat. Um, but yep, we got our big pregnant mamas here. We're gonna try to get their little pedicures done so they can feel all nice and refreshed. Um, I'll show you guys us doing that if I can. I don't think we're gonna get to the boys today. It just depends on how late it goes. They might go next week. Do you hear somebody laying an egg? They're on the other side of very crazy that's happening over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get that going and then I will talk to you guys in a little bit. So we do have a stand we can put them in to do their hoofs and if my dad is trimming, we always use the stand so it's easier on his back and knees. Um, the goats, however, really don't care for the stand um, and it's hard to get them in there and with the mamas being so pregnant, um, they really don't like jumping up on the stand. So I went ahead and just did it on the ground today and just lifted up one foot at a time for them and did it um, quickly and with a little bit less stress for them since they really don't appreciate getting on the stand and it turns into an entire event just to trim hooves. So we just did it this way today. And um, also here is my little daughter helping me catch the goats. She helped me with the two youngest, Phoebe and Goose. And then she went to go ride her bike with her brother and sister, but she was a very good helper and I do appreciate that. Well, Wrigley ran away. She ripped my shirt. You didn't see it because Rosie ate the camera. Yay. Okay. Well, I got one foot done on Rosie. Cindy needs her front hooves, and I got both the little ones done. How about you, Rosie? You want to be next? Say hi. You want to be next? Hi, Rosie. My husband finished up the chore he was working on, and so he came over to help me um, get a hold of and hold the goats so it was a little bit easier for me to um, keep a hold of them and get their toes done without having to chase them so much or stress them out. Here's Rosie laying down as I do her feet. She's done this since she was tiny almost every single time. As soon as we pick up a foot, she decides to lay down and relax for her pedicure. You can see my dad in the background here in just a second just refreshing their straw and then he's going to straighten up their kidding stalls just a little bit we're going to try to do something different with these this year last year was definitely a little ho-dunk and very um frustrating for us as far as the doors and things were to use so we're going to try to switch that up a little bit for this year but dad went ahead and refreshed their barn and got that all ready 
and then um, he's gonna go ahead and help us catch the rest of these goats and keep them still so we can finish up these pedicures. And then I'm going to come in here with a little bowl of food for Mia. I sprinkled a little bit of grain into the troughs for the other girls, but I am just trying to get Mia um, to be comfortable enough that I can catch her and to be still. She is definitely our most skittish goat, and she takes right off. She um, never really got used to us or comfortable around us. We tried just about everything, giving her little treats and pets and all of that. Um, unless she's about to kid, she usually sticks to herself. But um, I'm trying to just get her to relax enough that I can get a hold on her to go ahead and get those toes trimmed up. And we finally caught her. She, however, decided to go lay right off of camera so you guys don't get to watch her little pedicure. She also decided to lay down for her pedicure, but we got her all trimmed up and I think she's going to feel much better.
Okay, so we got all the girls done. We are losing light fast, and it's Sunday night. So we, oh, hi. Um, so we gotta go they hang out. Got our new straw in the barn, so we're just gonna go ahead and head in. And get Thank dinner you guys ready. for following along. So we I don't can know how much video I got, tomorrow, all that fun stuff. Because but everybody's the are done. The everybody looks five seconds. great. But I checked they're getting their treats, their dinner, and I will catch you guys on the next one. They got their little